All right, hello everyone. So we are going to be doing a quick little tutorial on how to import radar data into GR level two and GR level three. I do not have GR level three, so the process might be a tiny, tiny, tiny bit different, but it's the same site that you download the files off of, and I'm sure the importing process will be basically the same. All right, so the links to these websites will be in the description below, but I'm going to do a quick little walkthrough on how to actually get to the area where you download the radar files for the people that don't want to keep coming back to the video and trying to get the links. So you're going to want to load up the National Centers for Environmental Information, or just the NCEI. If you type that into Google, it should pop up. You're going to want to click Products. From there, you're going to scroll down a little bit until you see this little drop-down thing. You're going to click that, go to Platform, click Apply, Go to Radar. From Radar, you'll have all this stuff, but the only thing that matters to you is this thing right here that says Download Radar Data. You will be taken to this little page, and none of this matters other than this map right here. So, now from here, you're going to want to click the National Weather Service office that you're going to want to use to download the data. I'm going to do Gaylord for the Gaylord Tornado in 2022. So this is your month tab. This one happened in May, and the day was the 20th, and the year was... Well, 2022. So now from here, you're going to go down here, click create graph. Now it might take just a second to load. However, once it does load, it will show you just a graph of where there was no precipitation detected on the radar, there was precipitation, or it was under maintenance, or it's just completely unknown. Now from here, you could click order data. However, that's a longer process, and they send you an email link to it. So if you want to do that, that's fine but I like to click just direct download because that's way faster. Now from here, this is where you guys are gonna have to do a little bit of experimenting. You ha are gonna have to find the time where this tornado or storm took place in your area or wherever you want to find it for. And so I have already gone through and I know the time where it took place. And now this next part is completely up to your personal preference. You could either take a individual radar grab or you could just download them in bulk and kind of get a radar loop in a way so that's what I'm gonna do just to show you guys the progression of this tornado and everything that you can use with for so once you have all your files downloaded you're gonna want to load up the application that you use it doesn't really matter if you're directly on that site but it is just a little bit more helpful so from there you're gonna want to go up to here where it says file and then you're gonna want to click open this is the part where it gets a little bit iffy I'm not sure if it's the same exact process for GR level 3, I'm sure it's very, very similar. So if someone could just leave that in the comments below for me, tell me if it's this way or not, I'm not 100% sure. So anyway, you're just going to click open, and then it should take you to this download folder right here where you have all your downloads, or you could just find it already manually th by scrolling through all this. And then you're going to highlight the ones that you want to grab, and then as soon as you highlight all the ones that you want, you're just going to click open. Now it might take just a minute to load depending on the speed of your PC or laptop or whatever you're using. And so that's basically it. I'm just going to go over the exact features of what you can use this for. But I know for this it gives me all of the radar data that I want. It gives me base velocities, spectrum width, really everything that you want, echo tops. It, yeah, it, give, it gives you all of that. And you still also have access to the 3D volumetric data if you have GR Analyst, which I think is also pretty sweet. But yeah, that's basically it. I'm just going to kind of show you guys the full progression of this thing. You can see still when the warnings were issued and everything. So, I, I, yeah, I think this is a crazy cool program, and it's really easy to do. This is a very, very easy thing to do. I mean, really, you just go to that site, you click some things, and then download them all. The hardest part is finding the time when the storm event actually happened. But once you've got that down, it's literally just clicking some buttons and you're done. And so yeah, that's literally it. I'm not going to bug you guys that much about subscribing, but it would definitely help me out if you did. The main content on this channel is going to be storm chasing or storm related content and more educational videos and stuff like that. Um, I'm teaching people about meteorology and stuff like that. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video, but until then, I am out. So see you guys next time.